A number of aspects of this East River helicopter crash have come under scrutiny, particularly after the loss of five lives on board. Open door chopper tours are, of course, legal, but how much safety training do their pilots and operators truly have? And those harnesses there to protect and keep passengers safe as they lean out for those spectacular photos, but at what cost? This is video from the International Survival Standards of Aviation and their controlled underwater rescue training. Experts we spoke to say they were death traps. They had no chance to cut that. And not only that, that water is very, very cold. Just that part right there, they could have taken a breath and, and perished right there because the water was so cold and they didn't have the training. Barbara Kaiser is a leading expert in aviation safety. She has spent much of her career specializing in rescue training, first for our military, then for police, fire and EMS, and now even for civilians. To simplify it, you know, we train some of your most elite warriors out there, right? And we wouldn't put these guys in that situation. The city's medical examiner's office has determined all five souls killed in the Liberty helicopter crash died from drowning. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Kaiser says this was a preventable tragedy. The pilot's landing, she adds, a near perfect one in an emergency situation. The only solution she believes is mandated safety training for anyone operating this kind of business and for all of their employees. If we could do anything to save hundreds of lives um, and prevent this again, it would be to change the law to mandate it, saying that every pilot should, should have to take this type of training. 